engine out, engine out, engine out. I'm going to cut the engine. Ground handling. And the reason I want a ground handle, you can see how much the wind switched already, is I haven't flown for a while and I just want to get back into the flow of it. I want to get into the back end of the field. It's going to be very variable conditions today. Yep. Nice to feel tension under lines, lines in the harness. I'm trying to walk the wing back. I think it's almost almost a forward there. Center myself up. Tension the lines. Let's go for a forward. the tips, a little bit of brake pressure, and slowly walk forward. Uh. Yeah, the wind is very switchy today. Lots the thermos popping off. Always prefer a nice positive forward than a dodgy reverse. So Walk forward, equal tension in the A risers. There we go, step back and commit. Pressure on the A's, switched. Opposite brake, opposite walk. Walk forward, tension. Walk to the tension, equal tension. Step back, be clear and irons. Check one second, things good. Three, two, one. That was why I didn't commit. Woo! Now happy to go flying. Right, welcome back to the uh, paramotor cam. I've just done a pre-flight on the machine. Haven't flown this for about two months, so I've been all over everything. I've been looking at it and doing some maintenance in the workshop. Belt retention and, and other bits and pieces, so it hasn't, it's not like it hasn't been looked after. But it's just nice to uh, run through everything and make sure that everything's as it should be. Bolts are in, thread locked, so on and so forth. It's a very busy day here today. A few of the guys flying a sub 70. Uh, Dan Burton is here with his Flyke. It's a fresh breeze Flyke, so a tricycle that you can pedal. I think I've got some footage of that earlier. See him coming in now. The wind is very switchy today. Nice. Is he going to pedal it in? Is he going to pedal it in? Yes! <laughs> awesome. The reason I'm launching from a rosa is because I just know it's gusty. I don't want my wing to get dragged until I'm in control of it. Right, anyone else in the sky? Pressure. Positive rate of climb, gear up. Well, hey. And we're airborne. First flight after lockdown. Fantastic. Thanks to all the national governing bodies for getting us back airborne. It's uh, it's been so appreciated. It's all coming back. 
There he is, seeing him, he's up there high, about 2,000 feet. Oh, it's fantastic. Might not make for easy viewing today, but I just don't want to have a near miss with any other aircraft. Look, lead turn. He's coming back in, I'm going to get some height and clear off. It's now 11 o'clock, the thermals are building, you can see the cumulus all flat bottom, not too much towering. It's definitely thermic, because I'm going up at a thousand feet a minute. Oh, what a gorgeous day. It's almost nice just not actually going anywhere, just staying in the local area, clearly being high enough to not annoy the neighbours. I've got my new helmet on, which is really comfy. I think last time I got up, everything was dark, dank, rainy, fields were brown, and now everything is just oh, green and lush, skies are clear, you can see the coast. It's a good day to be flying. Do some turns to the left. Look lean turn. In some bay viewing overs. Whee! Oh yeah. A little bit of jeans, a spiral. Well, just a tight 360, really. Just building up the feel, not doing anything too strenuous. It's all about progression. Big ears. Take it down. Two out, pop, pop. Switchy, switchy, switchy. Now we're coming on final for the win today. He's on the hard anyway, so I'm going to stick clear of that. Uh, I'm not really coming down at all. At the moment, the wind looks stable for an approach to land. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Nope, we're in a thermal. <laughs> Committing, out of the harness early, leaning forward, hands high. Keeping the speed, leaning forward, chuck to level. And we're down. <laughs> that was a bit of a stop. Keeping it kiting, keep flying the wing, keep flying the wing, because that's when you get dragged. And one of the Grec. That's stronger wind than before. Leading back into the power, keep it running. Positive rate of climb, feet up. Killing the engine, out of the harness early, leaning forward, brakes high, steering for the wind. Hands fully high, 
hands fully high, check to level. We run it off three steps. Simulated engine out. Engine out, engine out, engine out. I'm going to cut the engine. Check to level. happy with that. Yeah, let's walk you back in. All nice little drills. Had it been any lower I'd have been landing in the field opposite. Right. And plop it by the van. And that's what it's all about. I'm going to have a cup of tea. So yes, finally got my cup of tea. It was great to be back flying, back in the air, post-Covid lockdown. Um, the national governing bodies that allowed us to actually fly again so thank you again to everybody that's allowed us to go flying it was great to really start my flying from the ground up again getting that ground handling in um, after such a long layoff I think was fundamental to just enjoying the skies and taking it progressively as well uh, there's some airway videos out there I'll leave a few of the links in the description that have really allowed me to reassess how I was going to get back in the skies and I think the only way to do it is it is a safe and progressive way so we'll cut this video here. Until the next time everyone fly safe, please do, and let's enjoy the privilege of the skies that we have. So again, until the next time everybody, fly safe. Mm -hmm.